Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So last month, K-pop star Jackson Wang made headlines for being a gentleman on stage and that led me to think about K-pop behavior. K-pop idols have become some of the biggest idols in the world in recent years. And they're also known for being incredibly nice and having very good etiquette, but not all the time. In fact, there are some pretty jarring etiquette moments from K-pop stars. So I thought I would break down for you today the 10 best and worst K-pop etiquette moments. So we can learn from what they do well, what they do wrong, and I'll give you some etiquette tips and tricks along the way. That way you'll know exactly what you should do when you face some of these situations. And you won't believe how good or bad some of these are gonna be. By the way, have you experienced really good or bad etiquette from a celebrity or K-pop idol? Well, drop them in the comments below because I wanna know. Number 10, good etiquette. Jackson Wang and his mana hands. So Jackson Wang is from one of the hottest K-pop groups out there right now, GOT7. And he's known for being a really well-educated K-pop star because he went to private school in Hong Kong. Yes, he's from Hong Kong. Ka-ching! And he's actually known for being fluent in a ton of languages like English, Cantonese, Mandarin, Shanghainese, which are the three of them dialects, as well as Japanese and Korean. But what some people don't know is that he's also the K-pop idol with some of the best etiquette out there. In this example, he's on stage performing with Jessie, who is an American-born Korean rapper and K-pop star in her own right. There's also been rumors of them dating. When this recent incident happened, K-pop fandom went wild from New York to Shanghai, and it is earning Jackson Wang major brownie points everybody's been analyzing it. So what exactly happened? Well, let's break it down. On December 18th, 2020, Jackson Wang was performing with Jesse on stage at the KBS Song Festival for her hit song, Nunu Nana. He sang, he danced, and then he walked over to her and put his arm around her. Now here's where it got good. When Jackson put his arm around her, Jesse grabbed his hand and rested her hand on top of his hand and if Jackson were careless, his hands would have touched her, you know where. Now Jackson had two options. He could have relaxed his hand or closed his hand and cupped her breast, which would have created international outrage, or he could flex his fingers, keep them stiff and straight so that he would not touch her Jesse's hot body. And he chose well. He immediately stretched his hands out stiff to keep any part of his hand from touching any part of her. Mm. This incident immediately began trending on Weibo, which is one of the Chinese social media platforms, as one of the hottest topics, and K-pop fans all over the world praised Jackson saying, and I quote, look how hard Jackson trying not to touch Jesse's thingy. Smiley face. Second comment. The hottest thing about Jackson in this performance isn't even his goddamn moves. It's his mad respect for Jesse, parentheses, and women in general. Third comment, fact. Jackson looks like a bad boy, but he actually has a gentlemanly attitude, etc., etc. Basically, fans are calling Jackson's hands mana hands and praising his respect for Jesse. So, what's the larger lesson to be learned to how to react to compromising positions like that? And why was his decision right and how can we apply that to our lives? Well, you always want to be making people feel comfortable around you, whether you're going in for a hug, putting your arm around them, or giving them a kiss on the cheek. And that's exactly what Jackson did here. If Jackson weren't aware, he could have made a mistake that could have been very embarrassing for the both of them. I mean, imagine, his hand could have touched her breast. And maybe Jackson has a girlfriend that's not Jesse. Maybe he was thinking of her. As a pop star or celebrity, you're coming into contact with beautiful women all the time. Imagine how his girlfriend would have felt if he made a mistake. Unlike Justin Bieber at this moment, at a meet and greet with fans in Miami, Jackson Wang did the right thing. Two thumbs up. Number nine, bad end. Joy from Red Velvet, she is a screen hogger. Jeju born Korean idol and actress Joy has been in the spotlight since she debuted with Red Velvet in 2014. She is the girl group's lead rapper and sub vocalist. They've won numerous awards and she's been in TV dramas. But she did get major flag for being an attention seeker trying to hog the screen. 
Let's see what happened. So in this video of the girls, you can see Joy standing in the back. She's second from the left. She's wearing pink. And she's kind of the back of the video. So you see her put her hand onto fellow idol Silgi's back, who's in yellow, and slowly push her out of the frame. And then Joy herself moves to the front. Immediately, fans criticized Joy for being rude to Silgi and secondly, called her selfish for trying to grab the screen. What can we learn from this? Well, etiquette is all about being selfless. And in this age of social media, trying to grab attention or trying to put other people down to make yourself more visible is just not liked by anyone. And unfortunately for Joy, this was caught on camera. I'm getting freaky. Yeah, I'm up the crazy. Number eight, good etiquette. TVXQ flight attendant favorites. TVXQ, which is short for Dongfang Shenqi, consists of a pop duo called Yunho and Max. They used to be a five member band that was launched in 2003, but then the group split. But the remaining two that form today's pop duo still are able to draw some of the largest concert crowds in South Korea and Japan. Former flight attendant Kim Sudal, who opened up her own YouTube channel, revealing the behavior of K-pop stars, praised them, saying even flight attendants really like them because they even fold their blanket after using them before they get off the plane. Wow, I don't think I even do that. Why is this good etiquette? Well, the way you leave a place shows the amount of respect that you give it and the people involved in it. My mom always said you should leave a place cleaner and tidier than when you arrived. So whether leaving your hotel room, your airplane seat, or a bathroom stall, think twice about who's gonna come in next, who has to clean it, and how they're gonna react when you see it. Especially if you're famous and your behavior could end up on YouTube. I'm getting freaky, yeah, I'ma bring the crazy. Number seven, bad etiquette. Exo Sehu for weird eating habits. Sehun Oh is a multi-talented singer, actor, dancer, model, you name it. And he's also the youngest member of the South Korean Chinese boy band, EXO. His nicknames are Sunshine and White Skin, but another nickname that his fans have given him is The Neckbender for his interesting eating habits. Let's take a look at this clip over here. As you can see, Sehun, I mean, all you really can see is a mop of hair, <laughs> but because his upper body is doubled over and around the food that he's eating, um, you can see in his hands there's a slice of pizza, and it's almost like he's trying to hide it at the same time as he's eating it. Yeah, it's interesting. In fact, Sehun has been spotted numerous times bringing his head down to his food, and you can see in this other picture the same where he's eating a hamburger. Guys, this is like table manners 101. When you're eating, bring your food to you, up to your mouth, or if you're using your utensils, use your knife and fork or soup to bring stuff, food up to your mouth. Do not bring your mouth down to your plate or bring your mouth down to your food. And in any case, Sehun, doesn't your neck hurt? I'm getting freaky, yeah, I'ma bring the crazy. Yeah, that freaky, freaky, on. Sing your goal, that got you, freaky. Yeah. Number six. Bad etiquette. Former JPJ member Kim Yong Kok. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. In 2018, former JPJ member Kim Yong Kok was at the center of criticism from fans and netizens, not just for his dating scandal and his cat scandal, don't ask, but actually for inappropriate comments posted by his private Instagram account, which were basically all about mocking his fans. Kim Yong Kook is actually a mainland Chinese singer who's based in South Korea. He's actually from Jilin, which is northeastern China. In Mandarin, we call that Dongbei. Dong means east, Bei means north. Uh, and to be honest, people from that area are not really known for having good etiquette. And I can say this because one of my besties from China is from Dongbei. And Boy, is she feisty. <laughs> but essentially, people from Dongbei are known for being sort of loud and rude and getting violent really easily. So what exactly did Yong Kuk do? Well, let's break it down. In one post, Yong Kuk shared a photo from his album's pre-signing, 
with the caption delusional, referring to his fans and putting an unhappy face emoticon showing that he was unhappy with it. Another post shared an image from one of JBJ's scripts for a program in which JBJ members would say that they were more than happy to film a second season of a TV show. What did Yonkook do? He put 10 question marks, 10 more question marks, and then said, I'll never do it. In addition to his very offensive Instagram posts, fans also said that they found in the trash letters and gifts that they had written and given to Yonkuk. That sucks. What can we learn from this? Well, firstly, to be appreciative and grateful for all that you have and all those who give you support, especially when it's your livelihood. Of course, it is exhausting to be a celebrity. You always have to be on and the attention is never ending. Being grateful is beyond good manners. It's a positive response to receiving a benefit. It's a circular experience because it makes us want to give back to other people, to the society, to the world. And as in Yonkook's case, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Okay, so I know you guys are really curious about Yonkook's cat scandal. Well, basically what happened is that he abandoned his mutt cat, Racy, R-C-Y, for a pure breed. Poor Racy was identified by its very unique markings on the street, much skinnier, and then was saved by a shelter. Honestly, for me, mistreating and abandoning animals shows more than bad manners. It reveals a bad heart. Yonkook, two thumbs down for you. Okay guys, I just put on my mic because this is China and there's crazy construction going on. And for some reason, the plot of land like on my block decided that they're starting construction and not gonna stop. So the sound might be a little different, but that's why. Number five, good etiquette. Girls' Generation, EXO, and Super Junior, nice and punctual. The same former flight attendant, Kim Sudal, who praised TVXQ for folding blankets before they get off the plane, also praised these three bands for being really nice and being really punctual, and most importantly, said that their staff was nice too. What's the lesson to be learned here? Two things. Firstly, being punctual is a show of respect for everybody involved. And instead of thinking that the world revolves around them, these K-pop stars revolved around the world by being on time, and that meant that the plane could take off on time. At my own company, I installed a strict punctuality policy, and I explained to all my staff, listen, if 10 people are meeting for a meeting, if one person is 10 minutes late, you didn't, that person didn't actually just waste 10 minutes of the company's time, they wasted 10 minutes times remaining nine people, which is 90 minutes of the company's time. Secondly, the former flight attendant said that the staff of these K-pop idols are also really nice and polite. You should think of your staff, family, and friends as an extension of yourself. So when you're polite, when you're punctual, when you're nice, you'll actually influence people around you to be the same. These K-pop stars hold themselves to a standard and their staff follow suit. If you see your colleagues, staff, kids, friends be rude or be out of line, it's totally fair to sit them down and tell them in a nice way how they could have done it differently. Number four, bad etiquette. Park ji from Tiara, culturally insensitive. Park ji is a South Korean singer and actress. She debuted in 2009 with girl band Tiara. It became one of the best-selling girl groups of all time in the K-pop world. In 2012, this Korean pop idol enraged Japanese netizens with her cultural insensitivity. What happened? Let's take a look. While the internet in general is known as being a bottomless cauldron of hate, nothing gets Japanese netizens seething like South Korea. Case in point, Japanese netizens were raging at a video of Park ji eating instant noodles because she had bad table manners. The video was actually part of a promotional series for Shin Ramyun Instant Noodles, in which members of the girl band Tiara would share their own home recipes for cooking it. ji in her video divulges that she actually likes it the old school way, the traditional way, and proceeds to make instant noodles according to the instructions on the package. But about 50 seconds into the video, the video pans to ji who at this point is ready to eat her finished meal, when, inexplicably, she takes one hand, opens up the lid of the pot, in her other hand are her chopsticks, and plunges her chopsticks in. So this hand, she has the upturned lid of the pot, 
this hand she has chopsticks that plunge in and get a bunch of noodles and then she puts them on top of the lid, the upturned lid, like as though it's a plate and starts to eat from it. Finally, adding insult to injury, uh, Jihan, as she shares the taste of the noodles with her viewers, then grabs the chopsticks from the other hand, smacks them onto the cutting board. I know what she's doing here. She was trying to align them, straighten her chopsticks, before then using them to go in for a second bite of her noodles uh, and using her barbaric lid plate. <laughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, was enough to enrage Chinese netizens that they started bashing Jian for her disgusting table manners. There was a renewed appreciation of Japanese manners, and one comment that a netizen left was, eating straight from the pot like this is even worse than a beggar asking for food rations. The reaction does seem a little harsh, but the lesson to be learned here is that Jian should be more aware of her status as an international pop idol and how that reflects on Korea's image. What I tell my etiquette students here in China is that etiquette is different country to country, and it's all about knowing how to adjust yourself, tweak yourself slightly based on who you're with and what country you're in and what the context is. Three, good and kind of bad. Shiny's Li Te Min, known for the wandering hand. Lee Tae Min is a South Korean actor, dancer, singer, and songwriter. When he debuted with a shiny group in 2008, he was only 14 years old, and his culminating successes have led him to be called the idol's idol. So what does K-pop star Tae Min do? Well, uh, his hand frequently drifts toward and rests on the thigh of his fellow group member, whoever's sitting next to him. He said that he's not aware of doing it, but we can just assume that his love for his group members is overflowing out of his own body. Now, what's the lesson to be learned here? Well, honestly, I'm having a really hard time deciding if this is good or bad etiquette because it's just so darn cute. For those of you who have read The Five Love Languages, you may know that personal touch is key to solidifying a relationship and letting the other person feel loved. Um, social touching is also good etiquette when used appropriately. For example, if somebody's emphasizing something, they may touch your arm. If somebody is showing care for you, they may put their hand around your shoulder. Social touching can show care and interest. Inappropriate touching, however, is behavior that makes someone feel uncomfortable. Luckily for Taemin, all his group members are the same sex, but imagine if his hand drifted over to the thigh of a girl. Good etiquette? I don't think so. Number two, bad etiquette. The XID's Hani and the Ajusi Legs. Hani is a South Korean singer and actress. She's also a member of the girl group EXID, and EXID girls are classy ladies, that is, at times. Hani has a terrible habit of sitting with her legs wide open. And more often than not, this is done when facing, sitting facing Ajusi. You're wondering what Ajusi means? Basically, it means middle aged man married man, uncle, basically somebody who is the age of your dad. And we can see that very clearly in these clips over here. I think what's cutest is when Hani gets scolded by her girl group members for her embarrassing sitting posture. It's really cute. Ah, <laughs> And last but not least, number one, good etiquette. Got Seven's Jackson Wang again. Yes, we have come full circle with Got Seven's gentleman, the gentleman of K-pop stardom, Jackson Wang again. So this incident happened in 2016 at Beijing International Airport when Jackson Wang arrived at the airport, tried to leave and was mobbed by fans, causing him to get down on his knees and beg for personal space. With his immense popularity in both South Korea and overseas, um, it's no surprise that everybody's always watching his move and during his travels, he you know, gets a lot of attention. In fact, to the extent that in one incident, Chinese fans actually crashed into his car uh, while they were tailing him and he did suffer some injuries. So at Beijing International Airport, he was struggling so hard to even move and to leave that he got really frustrated and he started pleading with fans, can't you hear me for once? 
do I need to get down on my knees? At which point he actually gets on his knees in front of the fans. It's such a touching moment. And once he does this motion, his fans immediately, you know, some fans start yelling, oh, you know, stand back further, let him be, let him leave, don't crowd him. And that to me was just the most powerful thing because most celebrities would get angry, violent, rude, but Jackson, he went down on his knees. And that kind of reminds me of a Chinese saying, which is called chi ran bu chi ying, which means eat soft, doesn't eat hard. And it's a Chinese way that says sometimes when you're faced with difficult situations or difficult people, people who are being hard, um, instead of being hard back, sometimes you need to yield, to surrender. It's more effective to be soft to get what you want. And that, everybody, is a little bit of Chinese etiquette for you to end the day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below which celebs you would like me to break down. Which celebs do you think have good or bad etiquette? All right, see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week who have tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.